Well, good morning. Today is Saturday, November 30th. Yep, it's time to go face the music. But anyway, enough of the enough of the sadness. Because trust me, I'm feeling pretty sad today. But you know what's gonna put me in a good mood? We have a birthday. No, we have two birthdays. No, we have three birthdays today. If that's not enough to put somebody in a good mood, I don't know what is. But Karen B Bouve, Karen Bouve, or Bouvee, B-U-V-E-E. -E. I'm going to say Bouve, like French. But anyway, it's Karen's birthday, so Karen gets a song. Thank you, Karen, for cheering me up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Karen. Happy birthday to you. Just a minute. Cha cha cha. We had to make it around the turn there without hitting any parked cars. Oh, this is what I should be doing. She's running with her dog. I should at least be getting out there walking. But Karen wasn't the only one that said, you know, Sandy's going to feel pretty down today. She's going to need some boost. She's going to need a pick me up. So Carmen Piper, she's part of a 12 day of Christmas, 12 Pipers piping. Are you one of the 12 Pipers piping? Or is it 11 Pipers piping? 11 Pipers piping, 10 baits of milk and nine. Oh, okay, whatever. Karen says, never mind about the 12 days of Christmas. Today's my birthday. It's not Christmas, it's my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carmen. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. <clears throat> I'm getting there. I'm getting into a better mood. Slowly but surely. Step by step. Inch, no, inch by inch. Step by step. I'm getting there. I really am going to get there. But if that wasn't enough, we have another birthday. And I have a no doubt in my mind that I'm going to screw up your name. I have faith in myself in the fact that oh, I'm going to really mess up your name. I'm so sorry. I'm going to apologize in advance, Lori. I tried to break it down because I remember last year you broke it down for me. And I forgot to write it down and keep it. But it's Lori. I wrote it down. I gotta look at it. Lori Karaana Zoglia. Karaana Zoglia. Well, anyway, Lori. I know I messed that up. But you get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lori. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Okay, that did put me in a better mood. Um. I've done a lot of thinking on this, a lot, a lot, a lot, and I did get on the scale this morning, and on my scale, I gained seven pounds, seven pounds on my scale. I know a lot of it could be sodium, I hear you, but I'm going to tell you, I know how I ate, so I would maybe say a pound of it is sodium, and the other six pounds is just poor food choices, and I just, uh, I've decided I'm gonna I'm gonna face the scale. I'm pretending I'm talking to one of you guys, and I would tell you, it's just a number on the scale, and sometimes it's a number you need to see. The unfortunate part of seeing this number for me today is I'm gonna see that dreaded three again, and I swore I was never gonna see that three again, and I'm gonna see it today, and it just disappoints me. It just really disappoints me. But you know, if you're going to go anywhere, if you're going to plan any kind of a trip, if you're going to plan any kind of a journey, you always got to have that first step that you're going to take, whether it's pack your bag, or make your reservation, or know your destination, or something. You have to take that first step. And for me, that first step is getting on the scale. And, and I know I'm not going to be the only one there today that's going to have a gain. And I know that there's not going to be a lot of people there today because a lot of people are just going to avoid coming. But I watched Jones Pointed Plate, and uh, it's funny how these meetings always seem to correlate with what I need at the time <laughs> because I think it's something about getting back on track. And, you know, I need to get back on track because I had a gain last week. I'm going to have a gain this week. 
as they said in planes, trains, and automobiles, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> and I can't keep going that way. I just can't. I refuse to go that way. Um, I just, I just know. And all of you guys, you've given me so many options and choices and support and encouragement for my video yesterday. And I, I can't thank you enough because it's, it really did help me make my decision today because I, I just know I, I need to, I need to get on the scale. Um, I'm going to start decorating my tree, get my Christmas decorations up because I always do it the weekend every Thanksgiving. That's going to put me in a good mood because I just love Christmas. And, um, and I, I just refuse to, to fall into old habits and old traits. And I, I refuse to have another year like last year where I had a gain. It's just, it's just not worth it. I know where my mistakes were. I know that I turned to food. And I know it didn't make me happy. Uh, I realized how unhappy I became eating the foods that I supposedly loved. And uh, it, it's just... It's just not worth it to me. It's it's not worth gaining all this weight back. Uh, I know I'm worried about what the doctor's gonna say, and, and you know, 99% of me believes that it's just gonna be a pill that I'm gonna have to take. 99% of me, but it's that 1% thinking that I might need some kind of surgery or, or something like that, that, that really threw me into a loop. And I, am I gonna let 1% of a thought process control my life? I can't let that. It's just, I gotta go with the 99% where I know that uh, it's going to just be medication. So that's not. Um, I didn't see my Uncle Bob but once a year, but losing him really hit me hard. It really did. Uh, him and my Uncle Jim were my closest uncles from my father's side that I was very close with. And uh, when my Uncle Jim passed, I, I really put a lot of weight on because it just, and it's not. You know, family is is family, and it, they don't have to be right next door. I mean, because like even my Uncle Jim, I didn't see him that often, but we talked once a week on the phone. And we talked for like a half hour, 45 minutes, an hour, and we just talked about everything. And when he was gone, it was, it was you know, it was gone. And I think part of the reason I'm going to miss my Uncle Bob so much is because he had so many stories of my father. My father was a very quiet man, didn't share hardly anything, and uh, he just uh, kept to himself. And it wasn't that I learned so many things about my father during the war, because he was in World War II, until I talked to my Uncle Bob. Uh, I knew my father was in the Navy, but my father never talked about being in the Navy, but my father was part of the Normandy invasion, the D-Day invasion. He was one of the main ships you know, that was there, and, and I never knew that about my dad, and, you know, he would tell us stories about my dad, and so I think that losing my Uncle Bob was the final connection to my father, so I lost them both. Oh, wait, enough of this modeling. Oh my gosh, look how bad I look. Look away, I'm hideous. Look away, look away, I'm hideous. Let's go face the scale. Overcome our... Sign of weakness, I'm telling you, sign of weakness. Sorry about all that blubbering before. You know, I don't like to cry in public. <laughs> it was just like a setup. But when I got in there, I told her, I said, uh, I don't want to know what I weigh. I don't. So, but I want to weigh. So she said, well, that's a good start. So she, she weighed and she put it in the book and she didn't say anything and we talked and I said, you know, I, I'm just not ready to see that number. I know it's gonna be huge. And she says, don't worry about it. When you're ready to look at the book, look at the book. So I stayed at the meeting and I did look at the book until I got in the car and I could cry again. I could cry again, I really could. It's, uh, it's bad, it's really bad. But I have my um, stickers in here because I wasn't even going to put stickers in it because it's that bad. But I, I have that, that stupid 30 number and again. I got that 30 number staring at me. 231.9, I gained 6.9 pounds. That is... Makes me want to cry. It just makes me want to cry. Sorry about that, but you didn't need a repeat performance. I know nobody was yelling out there going, Encore, Encore, let's see you cry again. You didn't need to see it again. 
I think I got it out of my system this time. But anyway, I put my stickers on here. I put a clock on here to remind me. It's time. It's time to get back on track. Whatever. It's on there. I, I've, I've looked at it. I've seen it. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I put, you got this? I do. I've got this because, you know, I'm just, I'm, I, I've got this. I, I can't. I looked at my thing, and last week I gained 1.9, so that means in the last two weeks I've gained 8.8 .8 pounds. I, I've just proven to myself how fast I can put it on, and I, I, can't, I can't be doing that. I just can't be doing that, and it's just, I put up here this other one, kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. I do think I have a kind heart. I do think I have a fierce mind, and I have a brave spirit, and that was pretty brave of me to look at this book because... Uh, Especially when I came out of my meeting, you could smell the McDonald's. And the restaurant next door must be having a special on uh, hash browns because you could smell hash browns. And it was just, uh, it was it was like I so just wanted to turn right and go into the restaurant, sit down and have a breakfast. And luckily for me, I'm not a, I don't like to eat breakfast out. But I love a good hash brown. <laughs> and it smelled really good. And I'm going to take a different route home. It's a longer way to get home, but in the long run, it's going to be a better ride home because I'm not going to go past that McDonald's. I refuse to go past that McDonald's. I'm not going to do it. Just not going to do it. So, um, and then I put, oh, my God, 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 because it was like, I, I thought it would be like five pounds, almost seven. It, I love the fact that it was 6.9 because if it was seven, that would have really, <laughs> I just... It was just, it's just enough to know that, you know what, it's just, it's just bad. But uh, there's no sense beating myself up. It's in the book. It's on record. It's been filed. And uh, I'm, let's to move on. <laughs> because, but look at, look at, look at, look at it. I got my water. I did bring my water with me. And uh, I'm. I'm going to do well. I really am going to do well. I'm going to have a, a loss next week because it's just, but like Chad and Jeremy said, that was yesterday and yesterday's gone. <laughs> but that was yesterday and yesterday's gone. And I got to move on. I just got to move on. So um, that's it for now. <laughs> I've composed myself. I'm better. So I'll talk to you guys um, in a little bit, I guess. Talk to you later. Did you miss me? <laughs> Who could miss all that blubbering? I know I didn't miss it. Um, when I got home, I did my weekly highlights, and then um, Jim and I started putting up our Christmas decorations. I have my tree up. Tomorrow starts my Vlogmas, so I'll show you my Christmas tree, and every day this week I'll show you a little bit that we did. When my kids were growing up, shh, don't tell them. <laughs> My kids, we used to, our tradition was we would go and we would go look for a Christmas tree. And we would find the perfect tree at the very first lot that we went to. But we couldn't get that tree. We had to go to at least 10, ever, 10 other lots. And then once we found the tree that we wanted, we'd bring it home. But first we stopped at McDonald's and we got McDonald's and we brought it home. And then the kids would go to bed and then Jingles would come. And Jingles would decorate the whole house because all we did was put the tree in the stand where we wanted it. And then the kids would go to bed. They always left a treat for Jingles. And then um, in the morning when they got up, everything was all lit up. It was like a winter wonderland. It was like a Christmas wonderland. And everything was perfect. And it was just so nice. And um, we did that forever, forever and ever. And to the point that Jingles is still around and Jingles calls my grandchildren now. So they all wait for Jingle's call. I um, started putting the stuff out and I told Jim, I don't know how Jingle's used to do it overnight. And Jim reminded me that Jingle's was a lot younger back then. <laughs> and then the way we explained it to my kids, because not everybody has a Jingle's that comes and decorates their house when they're asleep, is that because there's so many people in the world and Jingle's is not like Santa Claus and he doesn't have the magic powers that he can go everywhere and be everywhere in one night. Jingles had to pick, like in each city, one house that he could decorate. And every year we had to hope that we were the house that they picked. And every year Jingles picked our house. And my kids would tell all the other kids in the neighborhood that we were the most special family ever because Jingles came to our house and didn't go to their house. So, with all that being said, Jingles has been 
pretty busy this year and Jingles doesn't plan on doing it all in one night. Jingles plans on doing it a little bit each day. <laughs> so it'll get done before the grandkids come over next, but Jingles just ain't what she used to be. <laughs> so, um, but I had a pretty good day other than that. And uh, like I said, Jim and I went and did a little bit of Christmas shopping. And, and then when I got home, I did a little chit chat with the chit chat patty whack. Uh, we were texting back and forth for a little while. And then um, finally I said, you know, I gotta go. I gotta edit my video. I gotta finish this up. <laughs> but it was nice talking with her. So um, we're supposed to get rain tomorrow. I'm gonna go to church. I don't. I didn't even check. I'm sure I'll have some birthdays because tomorrow. Tomorrow is my daughter, my ex daughter in law. I don't ever call her my ex daughter in law. I still call her my daughter in law, but Jimmy's first wife, and uh, David and Alyssa's mother. So, so tomorrow is her birthday. So I might stop by her house and give her a card. We'll see. And then um, just stay on track. Christy's not coming over. She uh, worked at uh, Boston Market with with uh, Aaron for the week because she was off on vacation. And since they um, cater for the stores been opening for Black Fridays and that, so she picked up a little bit of extra Christmas money by working. So she has tomorrow off, and she said she's staying home, and she's not even getting dressed. <laughs> so... Um, but I'm in, a, I'm in a better mood. I've had a good day. I've wrapped myself around that was, I got it over with. It's going to take me a while to lose it, but I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. I really am. So um, I will see you guys in the morning. Thank you for putting up with me, all my blubbering. You know, I don't like to do that. I just don't. But every once in a while, I can't help it. <laughs> so, okay, I'll see you guys in the morning.